here we are on the road again. This time, it's Masha behind the wheel. That's right. I'm the driver. The dedicated or designated driver. Um, yeah, and so we're on our way to Pennsylvania. Today we decided to revisit a lovely town that we found once before called uh, Columbia, right on the banks of the Susquehanna River. So we're going through a toll gate. Um, there's quite a lot of tolls in um, the US, but the tolls are very reasonable. Usually like a couple of bucks at a time. And um, I guess it's just a good way of keeping, um, keeping the maintenance money coming in. lovely breakfast at uh, our favorite Holiday Inn Hotel and now we're off to explore uh, Columbia and York. Right. You know we stay at Holiday Inns, you know what you get, you know that you're going to get a free breakfast, the rooms are always safe, clean and the beds are just great. Yeah, I didn't have a back pain after sleeping in this yeah. comfortable bed which is lovely. Yeah. So uh, we took the bed out the side door, we put it in the back of the truck and we're taking it <laughs> home with us. So here we are in uh, Wrightsville, standing on the banks of the Susquehanna River um, and it's the Veterans Memorial Bridge, is that it babe? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, this bridge was uh, constructed uh, in the early 1900s. Uh, prior to that there was a wooden bridge here which was built uh, around the Civil War time and it was actually during the Civil War that it was set alight and a legacy of the um, of that night are um, some of the businesses around here have named themselves Burning Bridge Antiques, Burning Bridge Tavern which is across the river back in Wrightsville and um, this area this whole sort of uh, passage on the east coast leading from the south heading north was also a route for the um, famous uh, underground railroad which is not actually a railroad it's more the route that the name that was given to the route of the slaves who were um, escaping running away uh, at, you know to freedom you're speaking about the uh, the lights on the bridge um, in 2014 a very weird phenomenon happened so the bridge was built early 1900s and it was renovated again in 2014 and in 2014 they put new lights in uh, so i guess they were gas powered originally um, and then they put electric lights in and um, it must have been it must have happened around may i think or at least the time when the mayfly you know like an insect called the mayfly um it does its breeding right and so anyway when the lights were turned on there was one particular night in 2014 when these insects were attracted to the light but in like swarm numbers like literally hundreds of thousands of mayflies gathered around these lights and the mayfly has a very, very short lifespan, right? So they were attracted to the lights, hanging around the lights, and then they were literally dying, you know, in their thousands. Um, there were like, it caused three motorcycle crashes because the tires were slipping from all the dead bugs on the road. And it caused uh, traffic chaos for a particular, you know, very short period of time. So now um, they turn the lights off at dusk and they leave them off um, just while the mayflies are breeding. So guess where we're going now? Antique stores? Antique stores? Please? Um, maybe, if they're open. Yeah, this is probably one of the best shops, uh, antique shops oh, we yeah. have It's got like a, a cellar, this floor and an upstairs floor. And it's a huge old building. Yeah. I think this one used to be an old department store. Oh, uh, look at the ceiling. Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. No, pressed ceilings, they're gorgeous. Just found something that I used to uh, I recall from my childhood. So every shoe store that you went in had these things. And so basically, you would put your left foot, your left heel into there, and then this would slide up and down to fit around the knuckle of your big toe. 
and then where your foot came up to here it would show the shoe size uh, and then this would also be used to gauge how wide your foot was and then you would reverse it for your right foot so your right heel went in there and then this went up against your right knuckle and, and vice versa and that's how they worked out what size shoe you were because it you know as kids growing up your feet change all the time your adults aren't certain and so they would just quickly measure your foot in the store <laughs> Stuff if you mm -hmm. whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So I've got two of these at home. I've got for 30 bucks a piece. And 165 for one. Sometimes I discover things I had no idea we had at home. Interesting. So did you say this building used to be a um, factory? A hardware store, not a factory, a hardware, hardware store, store yeah. Okay. Initially I thought it was a factory, but then when you see how ornate the ceilings are and the big beams that hold up the, the main support beams, it's too nice for a factory. Yeah. I thought it was a department store, but the guy told us that it used to be a hardware store. The people who own the hardware store are still in town, they still own this building, but they moved the hardware store down to a strip mall which is like a very modern version, you know, like of what we shopping malls today. Um, but yeah, thankfully they didn't destroy the building, and uh, and it's still here to enjoy. Look at this. This is lovely. Sort of Art Deco almost. See the globe and the. I guess this is meant to be like a um, a, a ring of satellites around the the planet, and this is uh, from an oldsmobile, so it would have been on the the front of a, a really big old school bonnet of a, a big old American car. Love it, look at that. I mean, I don't know what you'd do with it, but it's just gorgeous. It's an old uh, military cooler box. Um, which, you know, very well made. You know, it could stand anything. You don't have to be precious with it. You could just chuck it around. And inside, um, it has the space obviously insulated. And I guess you could fill that full of ice, perhaps. Stick that in there, and then have your, you know, beers or, or stuff around the outside. Um, and it's thirty bucks. Very cheap. Okay. So, do you think this might be your first? Do you think it might be your first purchase today? Well, it could be because I just looked on eBay and I saw one selling for 300 something. He probably won't get that, but a couple more for about 130 to 160. So at 30 bucks, I could sell it for 100 fairly quickly and make a nice little profit. So in um, in a small town uh, between St. Petersburg and Moscow in Russia, there is a little cast iron Amish man who we got from this shop two years ago for uh, my mother-in-law in Russia, and she has just requested that we get him a partner. Here's another absolute blast from the past, which is obviously a silly thing to say, the shop is full of old stuff. But um, this one, I remember as a kid in Australia, the milkman would park his van at the end of the street and he'd walk down the street with this full of milk and then he'd take out a fresh one, put it on your doorstep, pick up your empties, put it back in the container and then he'd go back to his van with a thing full of empties. They'd take them and wash them and then fill it up for the next day's milk run. We're at antique store number two. This one is called Bootleg Antiques and it is another, well the other 
place that we were just in was an old hardware store. This one was an old factory. You can see it's uh, two floors of an old factory. Um, and we're going to start on the bottom floor, have a look around. And last time we were here, I saw a little motor that I was interested in. I don't know if it's still here, but we'll have a look. And so I um, ended up going back to the car because I um, couldn't find really anything that I liked and Rossi has just come back with a purchase. So let's see what he got. This is uh, something that was on the shopping list by uh, a family member. So um, my nephew and his wife in Australia, they live in Tasmania, an awesome little island, um, uh, have goats and they uh, told me, Margaret told me that she was looking for a butter churn uh, and there's just, uh, I thought they'd be easier to find. Anyway, um, this one is a slightly different design to the one that I thought I was going to get for them. But anyway, um, it's quite simple. It's just got this twisted wire uh, stem with the blades down there and, and a handle with um, like a mechanism on the side. So you just slide this up and down and it's, you know, I guess you're going to have to do that for quite a while to turn cream or butter into, um, sorry, cream or milk into butter. But that's it. That's basically it. Now we're on the way home, but on the way home we are going to pop into a um, another antique store and then we're going to go all the way home to New Jersey. Yeah, we, um, we haven't been to this one before. So interesting to see what's inside. It's a cool looking building as well. I like it. <clears throat> Doll's house on steroids. That is amazing. Look at the size of it. That is beautiful. Do you want to stand next to it so I can see the size? Yeah, it's massive. Oh. Look at this. Really cool. All the windows. Oh wow. This will be me in, in retirement. On Sitting a porch? On the porch? Somewhere in France. With a little table there, ice cold beer there. Family and friends sitting around, having a chat. And then just doze off. <sighs> Look at what is that beautiful piece worth? Look at the size of it, it's huge. Yeah, good size. Um, I can't read it. Uh, let me oh, see. Oh, hang on, there we go. 120? 125. Wow! I mean, that seems cheap. But it's obviously old and really well made and comfy too. You should have a seat. Yeah, it's very comfy. <laughs> yeah. You're not sitting. I'm sitting properly on it. Yay! And this stereo. Oh, the jukebox. Yeah. Yes. Jukebox is a cool and a word it's a I've never seen it in real life. Like you see them on in the movies but um, Oh yeah. I well, haven't seen one. You see these in milk bars in yeah. Australia. So this is a ticket I thought, oh this is very interesting, I wonder what it is. And then on the ticket it says, Maybe for a still. Don't know. So they don't know what it is. <laughs> That makes two of us. This is a shot that looks like uh, these guys might be federal agents who come in, they've busted somebody who's had a home still to make alcohol, so it's like a copper moonlight. still. Moonshine. Uh, moonshine, yeah. 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 And look, look, here's, well, nice spoon moonshine. here's an old still oh, here. Oh yeah, look at that. Copper still, so boil up there, the steam yeah. would come down here and then it would distillate and drop. Uh, drop and, stuff. and so look, that was, uh, yeah, bootleggers, there you go. Bad boys and broads welcome. Bootleggers Tavern. Make it easier for 
interesting find. Look, this is uh, what they call a globe. So this comes from back in the day when they used to believe that the world was round before they discovered that it's actually flat. And if you go too far, like beyond Hawaii, you fall off. So an amazing find. Uh, I don't, I've only ever seen these on TV. A beautiful vintage Gibson lap steel guitar. So this is, you know, uh, just a beautiful old guitar. You know, one of the early Gibsons. Uh, and, you know, very fittingly, of course, the price is $1,200. Um, but it's just very, very An original nice. 19 what? No, 1950s. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Oh my stars. That's like a double slice. Is it good? Oh yeah. It feels like half a kilo of cake. I know. I don't think you'll be able to finish it. No. Well, I'll be able to finish it, but certainly not right now. Maybe I'm going to make a start on it now though. It's uh. the only decent thing to do. <laughs> Abracadabra. I want to reach out and grab you. Abracadabra.